Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys. Today I'm going to be doing a PS4 custom controller setup tutorial. Um, the last one I did was a year ago and since that last video we've had helicopters, we've had naval, we've had radar, night vision and thermal vision and flares and etc etc all added to the game. So it's about time I sort of update this and clue you guys in on how I play War Thunder on my PS4 Pro. So first of all i do use controller i also use a bluetooth keyboard for extra key bindings you can use a wired keyboard if you have access to one um, but i would suggest if you are watching this um, to whip out a keyboard it just helps because there's just not enough combinations on the ps4 controller to handle the amount of key bindings that war thunder has also you can transfer my bindings to xbox you just have to remember that x on the controller is a square is x triangle is y circle is b and then for the trigger buttons l1 is lb l2 is lt um, r1 is rb and r2 is rt now obviously you don't have a touchpad on xbox but you can use my bindings. You just have to remember those simple transfers for um, the controller. And again, I'm not sure, but I believe you can use a keyboard on Xbox. So if you have access to one, it would really, really help you guys out. So we're going to go straight up onto the options and we're going to jump straight into them right now. Two. Okay then guys, so we are going to be starting off with aircraft and we're starting at the top with quick settings. I haven't touched these at all. Same as control mode, I haven't touched any of this. This is as default. So where I have been messing around with things is from weaponry basically all the way down. So we have bound to R2 or right trigger button is small, large and additional caliber guns. These are all on the same button. We have the same sort of thing here, fire machine guns and cannons, not a sign because, well, it's already done. Then we have B for bomb bay on my keyboard. Um, R1 is to drop bombs, which is your RB button on Xbox. Then we have bomb series under here, which is a set amount of bombs that you will drop on a single push of a button. I'm not sure how many it drops and personally, I just never bothered with it. I just leave it as R1. It's a lot easier. Then we have fire rockets down here for l1 rocket salvo is s on the keyboard then we have fire air to ground missiles which is l1 again so if you're carrying um ball pups and you're carrying rockets you're going to fire them all at the same time so you've got to be very careful personally what i do is i'll take one or the other i don't tend to mix them like that it just isn't worth it then we have fire air to air missiles these are on the same bindings again if you're carrying air to air missiles and ground to air missiles on the same setting then you're going to have to switch that around at least for a few games to make it easier for yourself personally again i don't really um, carry all of these at the same time if i'm playing sort of air rb i'll only take missiles if i'm playing ground rb then i'll probably just use um, ground to air missiles or air to airs i won't sort of mix them then we go down to weapon lock for radar so that for me is l1 and x at the same time so you click them at the same time and it will bring up the lock on circle then we have f for flares which is on helicopters and is on planes as well then we have this. This is the your um, for aiming access weapons. This is default. I haven't touched that at all. Same as the pitch. I haven't touched that. That is exactly how it is. Um, then we have um, O on the keyboard for the radar on and off. We have um, the directional buttons up, down, left, right. So left radar mode. Then we have um, radar search mode is down. Um, change radar scope scout is up and select radar target to lock x so that will just bring up the um the box and if you're in a top tier jets that
that will bring out the lead indicator same as lock radar um, target then we have these cannons so if you don't know what that one is that is for hang on I'll just show you it's for the DO night fighter variant for Germany that has the guns firing up um, customization so that um, Sklominsk or whatever the hell it is is for these and that will fire those up into the air so let's go back and then reload guns well since I, pr uh, I play um, RB um, I don't have that I believe if you're playing on arcade it's usually R3 I believe it is which is clicking in the right analog stick then we go down and we have main control axis um, none I don't have that these are all default here um, I haven't played with any of these um, never have it on hold to web I always just sort of click it up once and it just webs again that's default um, not assigned um, your access what is that Q A W oh okay yeah I get you now so that's my rudder I got, I got a bit confused there so left rudder um, is Q right rudder is W and A I believe A is just to um, take it back to its default setting but to be fair if you let go of Q or W it just goes back to its normal setting anyway inverted Y axis um, yes I've got on mine then inverted X axis is no um, ignite boosters is right shift on the keyboard then we have toggle flaps which is the right button that's on the d-pad um, then flaps down no we don't have that flaps up um, air brake is left on the d-pad gear is up d-pad and then parachute left button up button that usually just comes out anyway as soon as, as soon as you get your wheels down on the ground for me at least it just jumps straight out anyway so you don't need to worry about that um, toggle can gunners no no that's all default um, camera control triangle which is default I, and it switches you from all the different views then we have um, enemy camera tracking so if you're in RB or um, AB and you're locked onto a enemy plane if you hold the L2 button it will automatically follow and track that plane although I personally don't like using it it, it kind of fucks you up and when I have used it recently I've come close to crashing because it's just put me straight into a nosedive then we have the left trigger for tracking and aiming. Um, I'm not even sure what that one is. No, I'm not exactly sure what left trigger is. Oh, R1. Okay, that's what it means. R1. Even though it... R1 for left trigger. Okay. <laughs> R1 for left trigger seems a bit weird to me. I don't remember that being like that, but just just leave it as it is. I think that's default. I haven't played with that. Um, again, these are all default here. Um, yep, yeah, default, default, not assigned. And acrobatic smoke, L1 and R1. Be careful if you're carrying bombs and rockets, you will fire them. Um, open cockpit is C on the keyboard cockpit lighting is L and I think all of that is default yeah all of this is default at the end here and that's pretty much it for planes okay then so on to helicopters again this is default at the top here the quick settings same as um, the control modes 
all this is still on default. I've put M for hover mode rather than H because if I press H that removes the HUD. Um, then all this here is default, none of that's been screwed with. Um, as you can see, weaponry, small, large and additional caliber guns are on R2. Right trigger for uh, machine guns and cannons, that's default, I haven't touched that. Bombs are one, keeping it pretty much exactly the same as on um, planes, just to keep a sort of similarity going. Rocket salvo, oh, I didn't put that in, there we go, S. Lock weapon, um, laser designation is K, that's for using hellfires. Flares is F again. Um, flare series, which I haven't put in, but you can just put it as F, it doesn't really make a difference, um, which I'll probably just do now. Yeah, uh, not replace, but add. Um, also, we have fire ground to air, which is L2. Air to air is the down button, so it's not being confused because helicopters is a different ball game altogether. Then we have missile control Y axis, that's default. Default again, default. Um, change rate of fire, I've just left that. I, I want a high rate of fire, there's no point in having say a 30mm auto cannon under the helicopter's nose if you're not going to use it on a full auto. Um, then we have toggle view which is triangle again. Sight stabilization is just X or that will be A on the Xbox. Cockpit view again is just triangle for me which will be Y on Xbox. I do have a, um, an Xbox controller so I'm cheating. <laughs> um, this is all the same, you, you just press triangle for all of that. Um, then we get down to here, these are default, I haven't touched any of this, this is all default. Um, I think it's default all the way here, yep. Yeah. Cockpit open is for the um, keyboard again. And then these ones here, this is for your night vision. So. As you can see here, switch night vision mode 5. This is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way along. And this will put on night vision. Um, and also for thermal, it will change it from white to black. So your enemies pop out as a different color. Pretty simple, very straightforward and easy to remember. Now on to tanks. Again, quick settings are default. Transmission automatic. Um, not that you need to do it as manual then all of this here is default um, yeah that's cruise control is up and L1 which I always use and reverse transmission reverse um, cruise control is down and L1 then we have all whole aiming which is right alt right next to the um, space bar on the right hand side of the keyboard then we have fire from main caliber cannon, um, which is R2. And then we have machine guns, um, coaxial and roof mounted and special guns, which will be like something on the M2016 99 is the rockets. And that will also fire your rockets, same as the Calliope. It will also fire the rockets. Um, all this here is default. Then we have X for smoke grenades. Space bar is smoke screen. And change rate of fire for things like the BMP2 is F. Um, next bullet type, I haven't bothered with that because you just do it on the um, D-pad anyway. Radar um, for SPAA is O on the keyboard. Radar mode is M. And to change the search scale is, or to change search mode, sorry, is comma. Then we have the scale as N and the select radar target lock on. Um, I, bloody hell, I can't even remember which that one is. <laughs> um, it's I think that's the at button. I believe it is the at button. Um, then we have X to lock on to radar. U night vision. IR spot lamp is I. Then we have T to change the thermal from black to white and white to black again. Um, zoom, well, I I just use square for zoom. It, it isn't set, but that's what it is. Um, sniper mode for me is L1. 
driver mode is right on the d-pad then we have binoculars which is left stabilizer well i've always wanted a stabilizer on so i wouldn't bother turning it off tank tracking mode only works in a b and again is pointless because <laughs> you know you're better off using the um analog stick yourself it's quicker then we have um all this this is default default yep default oh here we go so suspension controls for um japanese um tanks and you can see here backwards forwards right left um decrease clearance increase that's li literally raising the whole thing up or down and um that will put it back into its default position the reason i've done it like this is because one's forward two's backwards then left right up down and default put put back to its normal position so now we get to miscellaneous which is our last section tank repair is triangle which i need to hold the different shell types which do get in the way of um, the driver and binoculars that's why i usually only carry one or two types of ammunition is up down left right and then we have fire extinguisher r1 and circle and this is all default then event selection is r1 and triangle scouting is s on the keyboard rangefinder is r2 crosshair lighting is comma then set control distance this is pretty easy so again on the directional buttons on the um, keyboard because i don't have a mouse wheel um, you'll sometimes see me setting like ranging a target and then setting the um, crosshairs up or down and that's what that is up and down and right shift is to set it to default and then we have um, engine on and off which is um, I can't remember which one that is. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's at or um, hashtag or something like that. It's one of them two anyway. So sorry about that. I'm getting a bit confused here myself. I've got so many binds on this. It is very hard to keep up with them all. Okay then. So now we're on to ships. Again, quick settings is default. We have movement here, which is default. I haven't done anything with this. Halt here l1 and down stick well i didn't even know it did that to be honest range in shot is left control and x um i believe that's only for um a b but i'm not sure if i want to range a target i'll literally just click x on it or if you're on xbox that's a so shooting is r2 this is default um all this is default here for selecting the different um things weapons secondaries anti-aircraft guns launch torpedoes is l1 d for depth charges m for mines mortars which is the hedgehogs that sit on the front of some destroyers is l2 and r2 together same as rockets for some of the russian patrol boats um smoke grenades well i haven't got anything with smoke grenades so i don't need to do that smoke screen is space same as tanks then torpedo aiming is L2. Don't get them too confused, L2 and L1. Um, toggle gunners is G. That will um, set your target for um, ships, planes, or planes and ships, or stop your AIs from shooting altogether. Manual target in a primary caliber is up and, or well, L1 and up. That must be default because I haven't done that. Yeah, these are default. Aiming mode, triangle, which is default. Um, default, default. All this is default here. Haven't messed with any of that. Um, all these are default. Event selection, L. Oh, I'm sorry, R1. That's default. E, I've customised. That is extinguishers. R for repair. Um, B for um, repair breaches. Tow rope. Oh, I haven't set that because I've never had a need for one. Um, I should probably set that actually. Let's put it to T. There we go. <laughs> T for tow rope. Keep it simple. Um, manual aim and correction. Nope, that's default. Distance correction, R3. I haven't needed that either. 
um, and that's that's basically that that's the end of it not much to go through now we go on to common and we have tactical map which is O uh, not O sorry circle on the d-pad then statistics which is the touchpad um, show status of vehicle modules backslash R3 so I can either use backslash or R3 to see the x-ray mode of my tank to see what's damaged who's dead lock target um, that's preliminary for um, uh, SPAA radar um, and L chat is obviously return which is enter and talk to all which is shift and um, enter on the keyboard and then tab to switch chat modes push to talk which I don't use you can turn it on or off um, artillery strike X triangle button and circle for aiming then interface here um, these are pretty much all uh, default obviously <coughs> excuse oh excuse me um, HUD is for H is for removing the HUD and the left alt is so that I can bring up the cursor when I'm driving along um, square for zoom as I said earlier all this here is default but you can fiddle around with this if you so wish aim sensitivity that should be on 50% there we go um, radio message L3 that's default I haven't set any particular radio messages and all the way down is all default so pretty simple there's not really much to go through spectator mode this is for um, watching replays all this I've put in myself because it wasn't there um, and then we've got hover mode and um, this is basically what I use for getting some cinematics um, for every now and again and also for getting thumbnails as you can see most of it's just set to default you really don't need to do much with it uh, it's pretty straightforward so I hope this helped everyone I hope you was um, quite happy with what i've done i know it's a big ask having a keyboard when you're trying to play playstation but as i say you know there's just not enough bindings on the controller to deal with what war thunder chucks at us unfortunately so guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you are new please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and if you do hit the notification bell for updates on future content also a, a, a thumbs up a thumbs up is appreciated on the video it does help the channel and until next time guys i will see you soon so have fun